Yo, what is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and this is my impressions on the technical beta for Disintegration. First things first, I wanna thank the team behind Disintegration for sending me over a code to jump into the technical beta. Also, I played on a base PS4, not a pro, and this is gonna be my game footage from the beta. I played the tutorial area, as well as jumping into a couple of multiplayer matches. Now, right off the rip, this game is very I. When I say that, I mean, it has a very, very much space for it to grow and grow a community out of it and be its own thing. And that's why I feel like this is aiming for it, for it to be its own thing. It feels like if you were to take Overwatch and a mech sim and combine it into one because of the fact that the mech sim part comes in where you actually control, you are flying around in like this huge looking spaceship thing that feels like a mech, but it's like, a you know, almost like a starship or, you know, like a, a Avenger spaceship and then you got troops running around on the ground that feels kind of overwatchy quote unquote but you're just commanding them around you're not actually jumping in first person and controlling them but you're commanding them around they all have their own special skills and their own classes and shit like that pretty pretty dope to see them running around when you tell them to do stuff they slow down time drop energy and you know restore te team's health and stuff like that you could tell them to focus in on one person in particular they could do that or defend it's, it's a ton of customization as far as controlling them and it feels like a real-time strategy game when you are playing and controlling them as well as flying around and shooting enemies that are on opposing teams and attacking doing the same thing. Now, the only thing that's holding this game back, I would say, is the learning curve. There is a huge learning curve, but that, you know, you get that in all games, including games like, I want to compare it to Fortnite, where if you don't know how to build and you bump into a player that does, you're going to just get outgunned and outskilled very quickly. I feel like it's the same thing here. If you do not know how to properly properly command your units and they're just following you and just you know sticking to walls and shooting whatever you're shooting at you can very easily under utilize those units and they will not be doing the correct thing they need to be doing at a certain time and that could very well may cause you the match and cause you to die very quickly with that being said if you do know how to fuck around and command the units to do certain dope stuff it does get pretty fun real fast and it, it, again you get really really into it this could be a fun multiplayer experience for you guys now again i only try the multiplayer it does have a campaign and i don't know the pricing of this game as of yet but hopefully closer to launch we do find out more information and again i do hope they do a public beta so you guys can get your hands on it as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section below from my footage what do you think of this game and what more would you like to see from this integration in the future let's chat it up in the comments as you guys know i answer all comments so i'm gonna meet you guys down there if you're new around here i do impression videos and basically game discussion videos all the time so hit that subscribe button if you want to check out more ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the video peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one have lost track of them or require them to take over for a period of time all right that's cool, we got units. Copy. Okay. You got it. That was weird. Let's so. move on to unit combat training. We'll start by temporarily disabling your graph cycle's weapons. You'll need to work with your unit using only the command pulse. Alright. You can also use the command pulse to have your units prioritize targets. Try prioritizing the target dummies using the command pulse. Whoa. We'll do. Right away. Watch out, son behind you too. Roger. Oh, oh, you're on the same shit. Oh, no, 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 this guy right here, this guy right here. So can I go, go here? Yeah. Go here. Focus on it. Oh, come on. Nah, but go here. Need you to stay hidden. Alright? And 
focus on this guy? Focus, take fire. Dude, don't run up on them. I dig it though. Go ahead. Your units will return to you after they have eliminated a prioritized target. Good work. Each unit is equipped with a special ability. Using the unit ability control, your units will deploy their special ability on a target or location. Abilities can be pivotal in a combat situation. Yeah. You may proceed to the next area. Can I shoot? In order to revive a completely downed unit, you will first need to retrieve their brain can. Their brain can? Oh, fuck. Got a friendly down! You got it. Um. Well done. Yeah. Proceed to the final area for a live combat test. Live combat test. Okay, can I heal up? Every unit in your squad will always fight by your side. But it's the Grav Cycle Pilot's commands that will increase their effectiveness in battle. To pass this test, all enemy combatants must be eliminated. Good luck. Taken some hits. Scan the area for a nano repair station. That's this shit, right? Yeah. Uh. Got it. Getting fixed. During combat. Damaged enemies will enter a vulnerable state. It is during this state that they become susceptible to critical damage. Capitalizing on this state can be key when engaging stronger enemy units. Drop items that may be of use to your squad. In the case of dropped nanopods, 
The nanites will heal you and your units upon approach. In addition, nanopods can recharge depleted abilities. Taking advantage of these drops can be the difference between life and death. Congratulations. You have completed the graph cycle training program. Alright. Oh. Player's appearance. I do like you. The Joker's on here. Look at this. That is cool. Cruise appearance. The sideshow. Okay. King's Guard. That is fire. Dreams. Ah, uh, Neon Dreams is cool. I like the um the the joint ones on them. What is this? Oh, okay. Feudal Japan Samurai. That's cool. This, uh, some Destiny. Nah, I'm not with it. Uh, Mad Max. Mm, not me. Not with it. The business. I like this. Um, reminds me of Chappie. And I like the boots, but yo, bro. That Joker S skin is fire. Let's see, though. The Knights of Fire, too. Um, I'm liking the red on Chappie. The the team anyway in the car is like a low right in the background. I can, from what I can tell. Everything else looks huge besides these guys, the neon guys. I don't pick Chappies. Oh my god, two low riders. Let's go, bruh. Let's go. Guys. Do I have the bird for it? I have two guys. Keep it original. Let's not waste bread on appearance if I could um, waste bread on something else. Yeah, I want that. Mm
Be dropped.
be grabbed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter also on all of my videos I do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.